Our big story tonight, Maricopa County's top prosecutor, Alistair Adell, announcing she is temporarily stepping away from her position to seek professional help for anxiety. Adele says that includes seeking treatment for alcohol use and an eating disorder. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Dana in for Mark Curtis and Kariba Devine. This announcement comes after a year filled with health challenges and some controversy for the county attorney. Team 12's Nyala Charles has more from the county attorney's office. In a statement, the county attorney says she will be in contact with her colleagues daily as she receives treatment. And as she does that, she's receiving praise from other lawyers and public officials who say what she's doing is commendable. It is very difficult for, for anyone to, to ask for help and even, the, even if you know you need it. Maricopa County Board Supervisor Steve Gallardo applauding County Attorney Alistair Adele for her transparency. On Friday, Maricopa County's top prosecutor made a public statement about her struggles, writing, quote, I have made the decision to seek treatment for anxiety and to address unhealthy coping behaviors, including an eating disorder and alcohol use. She had the courage to be able to acknowledge that and ask for help. In a letter to staff, Adele spoke even more plainly, saying stress and anxiety do not discriminate based on age, gender, race, or socioeconomic status. You are not alone. This decision coming after a difficult year for Adele. Last year, she was on medical leave for months after undergoing two brain surgeries. After she returned in February, a scandal rocked her office under fire for prosecuting Black Lives Matter protesters with criminal charges that were later dropped after media reports showed a lack of evidence. Still, even attorneys who have gone against her in court show empathy for her. It's very hard for anybody to admit that they have a problem. The county attorney's office says others on staff will continue to do the day-to-day -day work as she continues to communicate with them. I was notified this morning that she had entered into a treatment uh, out of state, uh, that she realized she needed some help, informed uh, that she will complete it in the next couple of weeks or maybe sooner. In her letter to staff, Adele celebrates the work her office has done to help those with mental health and substance abuse through changes in prosecution. But still, some protesters I spoke to say those controversies are still far from over as her office faces an $100 million federal lawsuit. In Phoenix, Nyla Charles, 12 News.